28, the following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From these concentrations given, calculate the KSP for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. And then we have calcium carbonate. So in calcium carbonate, they told us that the Ca2 plus uh, molarity was 5.3 times 10 to the negative third. And then the carbonate ion concentration is 9.0 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. Okay. Now, if we want to calculate that KSP value, it has to come from a balanced equation. Remember that these ionic compounds are going to start as solids. They did say they were solids in general, slightly soluble. That just means that a little bit of it is going to break up into the ions, but we have to write the balanced equation. So we have Ca, CO3, that's a solid, and it comes to equilibrium because we're dealing with a K value of its two ions. And in this case, they told us what the ions were, so we don't have to guess. So we have the calcium, which was a two plus, and the carbonate, which is a two minus. Since I have charges for those, those are definitely gonna be aqueous. So those are allowed in the KSP. Remember, solids are not allowed. And it looks like it's balanced already, so I don't even have to balance it, right? Put coefficients in the front. Let's just list out what numbers they tell us. So for the calcium, they told us that was 5.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And then for the carbonate, they told us that was 9.0 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. From these, let's just write out the general KSP equation for this one, right? Well, here's the general one. KSP equals to the concentration of just the products raised to the coefficients. So we're just going to make one for our scenario who? Here with the calcium and the carbonate. So KSP would equal the concentration of the calcium, that's one of the products, times the concentration of the carbonate. And remember, generally we raise them to their coefficients, but since I don't see numbers here, remember that just means that there's one of each. So I can raise both of these to the first, but that would be the same as just not doing it. So the calcium we know is the 5.3 times 10 to the negative third, and the carbonate is the 9.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. So right from there, we can solve for the KSP. So let's go for it. KSP equals the two of them times together. 5.3 times 10 to the negative third, and then 9.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. And then we will get our answer. It's as easy as that. KSP equals 5.3 times 10 to the negative third times 9 times 10 to the negative seventh. And if we do three sig figs, uh, sorry, not three sig figs, two sig figs, uh, we get 4.8. In the calculator, I do see 4.77, but I'll round to 4.8 times 10 to the negative ninth. And that is it. No units for KSP. KSP is our unit less. And that's it. There you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. There's a couple of more letters for this number, so hang tight if you guys are on the playlist. I'll see you in five seconds. Um, and if you wouldn't mind, just press the subscribe button. Thank you. I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, bye-bye.